My river team and Stella's team. I am Isaac Semakade from the Center for Legal Aid. Uh, to my right is Andrew Wabwezi from Garisong and Company Advocates, and uh, Stella's co counsel as well in the High Court leg leg proceedings. To my left here, I'm going to jump in briefly, I will do it in last, is uh, Council Derek Bazekuketa, the computer and law expert who came to Stella's defense in Uganda Road Court. Um, so, this gentleman is called Frank Gideon Buambari. He's a student of journalism at Makere University and Stella's comrade. Stella requested us that whatever the outcome of today's proceedings, she would like him to speak to the world about what they've passed through so far in this odyssey. So out of respect for the client, I beg that Mr. Bombardi delivers the heartfelt message he has. Yes. Good afternoon. My name is Frank Bambale. Speak up a bit. My name is Frank Bambale. I'm a very university student pursuing journalism and communication. And I'm um, very close confident of what Dr. Stella means, who at the moment has been under incarceration Speak up. since last year. Well, today what brings us here, we were expecting to have a judgment in which the biased magistrate was supposed to be kicked out this case, but sadly, contrary to our expectations, it is not what has been delivered. Uh, a lot has been going on right from last year, and we know there is no case that still is supposed to answer, simply because she just made a wish. We are in court just over a mere wish. You know, all of us at one point we had wishes that we would have wanted to, to happen somewhere, somehow. So Dr. Stella simply made a wish in her poem. She just wished M7 was not born. She was just expressing herself. She was speaking out her views. And uh, she was basing on what was transpiring in today's Uganda. We all see dictatorship uh, featuring each and every day. And uh, gross, gross poverty, unemployment, most of the things are depicted in her poem. So to me, I think we are just wasting time in court. There is no case. And I've already... We have already agreed, me and Dr. Stella, that this is the most useless trial, most useless parallel trial since 1962 when we got independence. 
because even the guy who the president who says who says he was offended by, by what Stella says he's ashamed of appearing before the court he doesn't want to come to express where he was touched he knows the case ashames him so really I think we're just wasting time and taxpayers resources thank you very much thank you Gideon yes um From the legal perspective, I don't know. Do you, do you have some of you have specific questions? Can you just recap? The sound inside was terrible. Could you recap what happened today, please, Isaac? What has happened today? <laughs> okay. Um. The second of November last year. It is most hurtful that Dr. Stranians was denied the basic facility to have a court compel a witness to attend court and for the witness to be examined by the accused person or her attorney so as to deliver meaningful testimony. This is a matter for freedom of expression and Dr. Selanyans had arranged a wide uh, a rainbow of Ugandan society be presented. Unfortunately, this trial is conducted under a cloud of repression, as you may have observed. No person could come willingly to be a part of this procedure. <clears throat> this is something the lower court turned a blind eye to by shifting the basic norm that a court can compel a witness testify on behalf of an accused person because the accused person has made a case for that particular witness. We came to the High Court seeking to have such a principle galvanized, articulated, fair. From the ruling we have just had, it is hurtful that the judge has ignored the principles of compatibility. Totally. Dr. Sarah Nyanzi has once again been obstructed from a constitutional right. We've had the High Court judge say, these must be your witnesses. <clears throat> you must have convinced them. You must have coached them. Of course, we disagree. Every Ugandan is competent and comparable to testify in this case, whether or not they have met Dr. Stella Nyanz, as long as the application has been made. And the application was made. We've seen, we saw the lower court backtrack from the summons it issued. It sat on them. We've seen the lower court view endorsed by the high court, and that's a very hurtful turn of events. Um, we are also happy that we can expose a lack of judicial independence vividly for any Ugandans and friends of Uganda that may have had doubt about the current moment. We will look into this judgment and we will identify and assign error to this particular judge. But it is a grateful thing for us that we predicted a loss here, and it, has, it is what has happened. Dr. Sedanyanzi expected nothing else from this court, as you've heard Mr. Bombari say. The result in this case was predetermined a long time ago from somewhere, and someone has decided that Dr. Sedanyanzi should face a conviction. It, it, is, it is both a hurtful thing and a, and a happy thing, because Dr. Sira Nyanzi, for those of you who may have thought, why should she seek bail at all? There was no point. She would actually have endangered her, <coughs> her life. Somebody didn't want her to, to enjoy that liberty. So, we are definitely 
at a confused point right now, a state of confusion. But everything will be clear, probably tomorrow, when Dr. Sayanians returns to Uganda Road Court, for that court to do as it, as it wishes with her. Because as we, as things stand, our mandate in that court was exhausted on the 16th of July. Um, our own judiciary permits itself to be a theatre for politicised abuse of political and judicial power. Sometime in the fullness of time we will be able to clean up this mess. History will absolve Dr. Sela Nyanzi and Uganda shall be free and safe again. It's rather a shameful thing for the judiciary. It's a shameful thing for the judicial and police prosecutorial officers who have been involved in this case that they have failed to grasp what their duty is. What would the government lose in facilitating witnesses to come for Dr. Seranians? What would the government lose in causing the CID director, the person who initiated this particular investigation, to come and testify? to come and be examined by Dr. Seranyans. Why did the court cover up for Grace Apollo? Why did the court cover up for the so-called nine experts in linguistics, in cultural studies, in law and media studies at Makere University? Why has the court covered up for those people? Why has the court prevented other Ugandans who merely requested the facility of a summons to arrive at their door in the hands of a police officer so that they can be able to explain how they got involved in this very this very case. Those questions are pretty close to be deal with. Amazingly in Uganda freedom of expression battles are won at appeal where judges write uh, wonderful rulings after the injustice has been suffered by the people. So that's all we have to say at this point, unless you have specific questions. In Salayo Mlamu Zono, Wa Koti, Nkuru, Tejina, Sunawa, Salamu. Kulida, Ayatu Kulembede Musango Kuno, Mwami Julia Sikadisonga, Utaliyo. Ya inzo kusarawe cho. Tukena muri daka komeo safarize, tule na ye, kwe buze ne mwa wawiwa, tuyo ketumanye watu jubile, nsale eno, watu jubile tujubile rumu, ena abe hude mkanda roo kote. Nsale yomu la mzi, nga koze eto? Nsale yomu la mzi, Ensawo yomla, ensawo yomla mzi, tetuwe uniza, tuwe tu disubira. O kumbwa tuwe tika, umsango kuno, mukoti, eno, tuwe funa wakuzi wakoti, abatu bira ko, abatu suni bira ko, biwa la ba, ebi limbi senge biwa bala mzi. Ida batu wabula, ni batu gamba nti Muruwa nilide nyo narongo Na ye, chansonyi, ila chibi nyo Nisi ya fewe tu senti, wakama wafe Waliwa wali mbaku vila masimu Waliwa wachalira Kabaka kogira kusonga ya nyanzi Atenga sibachi Sibakulida Kogira kusonga ya mwenga temuli uvo so, the Muslims were chasing us all over. 
na yetu asala wetu tuteke uweya mu no kwesiga omulamuzi ono ali ya kwera ofisi ya DPP kwa shimanyi si DPP ali amukubira masimu manji nyo amwe bilagiro engeri omusangu mu gwino kugwa ngabo ngabo gwino kuwirwa mangu boba ine tekeka yabo kunyanzi Mbaino mpango, kubaina Dr. Stella Nyanzi. Kukuwa wakulu waba la mzi. So mla mzi wana wade kubila gilo. Chine chintu, kukuleka olio wawo mla mzi wakuwansi, kukuchima liza. Nsala yu mla mzi, watifali tujisubile, letuwe unyeza kubango mla mzi. Vietuwa wawa, tabi konyeko, Atunude utunuzi kuhinsala yoli Na agama njitra wa mwuso vitu Tuwa sinzida Kawa yilo msema teka Akasa umulimo Umutongo le mkoti Kukuyamba kwa mwa virwa Kukufuna avajulizi Kukusindiko wa polisi Akwete dae avajulizi Na baba baba gani wa watiba gala kutia, usobole baba budi zebuzo court, chetuala ba Uganda Road Court, omlamuzi ogomri mu yagusa kufe, natu wa bude butono nyio, butono nyio, kuri gaba yuko kuri gaba la muzi makumi ya bili, muna kubili, abajulizi, makumi ya bili, muna kubili. Ono mlamuzi ni samu nstazi la vye kwa Kuwanga yuge denti za asa ini ingu wanga sato Atenga basa ini yanga tano Mwezi kwa mtu kwa msangu Friday Mwa msangu wa kwa kwa kubili E chotashu yuge deko Abisi Abisi zeko Abisi mziko Ngo mpango kuli gumu Kuzi ayo nyanzi Mkoti yaka masanyu Mba mulage Sebe niti ya gala so, kati ya wana yugana wana wachitegele Ndi awala mzo ina kula bakule Awala mzo ina kubo mpango na vo Ina kubo wa manyi Kukuna amazima mkote Walu wa wala mzo wabula Awa manyi duwa nga wata sobola Kuinyi gila mu Misa nyongachi Nga jinu so justice over obwenka nyakati mu high court ifuse bwa tepo bofuna abodo toja bofuna bofuna kama sanyu toja bofuna na yate bofuna mu birungo oli muganda uyizo uchi uyizo bofuna wa bofuna nyanzi mwala bye pato yakoze echi yafu yafu nyine bo bila mnyankole e wa nyanzi Sia ya taka masa Hamilton, kanyamunyo Nepato Yaba wade So Justice afuse tepo mjuganda Jangu Jangu mkwe kule Mbutubademu Kuna kuwa lelo Ye kwesi Kwa hitu nunye Evi tubibili vyoka Kukusaza amu Echilagiro cha kote ya wansi Yeyali Egado msangu wa narongo Matemu wade lukisa Matemu wade Lukisa pita wa Majuli zibe Mbe ya yasa vyo kote ya mnetelewa Aisho kubili Tuwa hitu wa gara koti Ezeyo msangu guno Elagiro mlamuzi wa wansinti Obuna njizibwa Obukule itabajuri zaabu Kuli kukoti Wanga Dr. Sela Nyanzi Yasava Enakuzi umwezi ngabili mkaga Yagamba kukoti mbulambu kufundi Tai naba julizi Bage enda kujia Chia garida Havajuri zibo na kubeya soma Na wa address zavo Kote ni wa summons Bari ba kukaka Na hechi tutumazeke mvili kumutwe 
Gomla Muzono go agambi enti ne address na manya niyansi tayaga wa chief tayaga wa court ne wali bage no kogera Sylvia tamale bage no kogera yuko bage no kogera tuabi ne government ya gamba enti chief tayi na chief au wajuli zibalunji baba rete ejabba ku ejabba buzevi na ye Makati gumu sango, umlamzi ya shuki mbeda, kuge nukula vanga ingeri jata mbuzi nsonga, sinunji, atubu kukulira. Itumu sako mwofisi yetu ugeremu itumu ya nechi yeshi kena maso, ngoo chuse. Tuwe tambula burunji katu kufanyo mwale miezi ya satu na ye, wetu usewa nongofu se mkambu nyo, tuge nukula. Tuwa geno kula wangu msanga haku kade, so tuwa isu bila nte bina achu kamu, bambu ile, adekira ukuwe omkambu enyo, ademu, ademu akobu ntu, alage siga, alage epise nunji, nechipana nyechibu nyeche sige damuzi. Na ye, kare, kote ya wakulu, iwa devye vyo, vyo, bambu gambi nti ya yongere yo, government ya jisanyo nde. Awa juu ni zasoka ya president, uwe kuanga, bomlamu samogete.